there's someone making a big splash in the Santa Cruz Valley. <laughs> Alyssa Hamilton has been swimming since she was just three years old. From there, she knew what her life's goal was going to be. But something happened to that dream. Yeah, I definitely had goals of going collegiately. And towards the end of my senior year, I had pretty set on what school I was going to go to and swim for. But I didn't want to be tied to money, and I was just getting really burnt out of the sport. So I stopped. But that pause was only momentarily. She committed to Colorado State, where she continued her passion. But another bump popped in the road. I'm really close with my family, so being away from my family was really hard, and the weather, the weather is really what took me back home. She returned home and enrolled here at COC and found her way back to the water. Her coach, Sean Kakumu, guided her to swim the extra mile. Having Coach Sean challenge me every single day that I'm here is definitely what I needed. So I'm coming into practice with the expectation that I'm going to be challenged. Her practice and hard work paid off, especially when she hit the biggest pool, a state competition. Coach Sean could have been more proud of her accomplishments. It's great to see them come in the beginning of the season, uh, figuring out you know where they are in the sport, and then finishing on top is fantastic. Uh, just seeing that progression of them succeeding, it's great. Then Coach Sean broke the news to Alyssa of being the number one female swimmer in Cougar history. I'm just kind of in shock. That's really cool though, I'm glad. I'm glad to leave my mark on Cougar swimming. <laughs> While breaking the school's record, she's coaching students to help them break their own. Personally, I liked it because I had like that positive reinforcement from a coach. She always was like, okay, well, we have to try this better. We need to do this better. We have ended up doing it, and we had a great season. Reporting from the pool, this is Kyle Kawamoto for Canyons News.